Hi, we are Meet the Nomads, a traveling family of four. We are on a mission to create a full-time nomadic lifestyle. Welcome to our travel channel. In this series, we've hired a car from Koh Samui in Southern Thailand, and we're heading up north, all the way up to Chiang Mai. On our way, we are going to visit some of the most popular places Thailand has to offer, along with some hidden gems. Don't forget to hit subscribe and follow us on our adventures. So it's 5 a.m. We are leaving Koh Samui and heading off for a three week road trip around Thailand. You can go paddle boarding in the ocean, it's that calm. Uh, and we also get to welcome the sunrise behind me, which you will get to see in a minute. For the next four weeks, we are going to have a wheel home, we are going to live in our car, and we are going on a road trip. We are planning to visit the north of Thailand and probably head back down south if the borders to Bali don't open. Over the next probably three to four weeks, um, we're going to head obviously now to so excited about Khao Sok, and then we're going to just head up towards Bangkok, do some stuff around Bangkok. Um, we're going to Bangkok for a very special reason, but that will become clear later. And then we're going to head probably north from there, around Pai, up around Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. What we're going to do, we're going to assess it then, look at what's happening in the world and what countries are opening up and then hopefully hopefully fingers crossed we can head off to a, to a new new country keep subscribing it's gonna be fun i just want to share with you that i'm super excited about our road trip as i've never done a road trip before uh, when i was approximately 16 years old i went traveling a lot on a lorry but it was well connected it was never traveling for fun for exploring so yeah, super excited for that. Yeah, we rented a car from Drive Car. It was based on the airport in Koh Samui. It cost us approximately 33,000 baht for the car. It's a nice five uh, doors car. We feed two adults, two children, three large suitcases, two small suitcases, and we have approximately four backpacks with us. So we are fitting comfortably. It's nice and large car. It's leather seats, it's super comfortable and the sound in the car is really nice, which is important for like a long, long road trip. But yeah, enjoy Thailand so far. Hope you're enjoying it through our eyes as well. And come explore, explore with us, let us know. Let us know if there's places you want us to visit on the way, if there is food you want us to try. Yeah, and please subscribe and support us. We've arrived at Khao Sok. I thought it wasn't too bad. It took two and a half hours, so we got here a bit early. We got about an hour before the boat leaves. Um, so we're just going to chill, taking a bit of scenery. Uh, on this and on, you've got to know, on the way here, that, that two hour drive, some of the scenery was absolutely breathtaking. We was really conscious of time. 
because um, we didn't want to miss this boat because there's only one a day. So I'll definitely get some of that scenery on, on the way back. Um, you're going to enjoy. So stick with us. I'll tell you a bit more about it as we go along. We're going to get the boat now to our floating hotel. Stick around for that, you're going to love that. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Cow Sock National Park. Did you enjoy that? I did. We just got to the hotel. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, we're not checked in yet. We come straight in. There's a there's a buffet lunch, so we're going to grab something to eat, and then when we check in, I'll we'll show you around the room. This is really cool. Look, they put like a little wooden camera. Oh, is it the photo box? Yeah, it's a camera. Aww. <laughs> And look, it's got my name on it. So we've got these little pods. It's a purple liquid in there. I'm not too sure what it is. It smells like tea, some sort of fruit juice. And oh, it's cool, good. they're cold as well. That's good. Mmm, that's really nice. It's, it's, it tastes like a wild tea. It's like a wild berry shot. Yeah, you grab one. Yeah. Energy shot. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we have We have more bottles of water provided from the hotel we have a Oh, we have a little postcard. It's oh, we've never had this before, so it's from the housekeeping thing. Have a look. 
It has a little picture on the other side as well. What did you say? It says, Dear Mr. Colin, thank you for choosing us to be part of your special day. Best wishes to you and your family during stay with our resort. Best regard, housekeeping team. That's so sweet. Is we are here or we are going to show you the bathroom because it's the first one on the right hand side. It's open air shower and bathroom so you can literally feel the the breeze going round. There is a shower gel and shampoo provided. You have a windmill. You have one in mommy. Yeah, It's a real floating house guys. You can see it from the lamp moving. Mama can you please keep going baby? We're gonna show them the nomad run. Daddy! You can only stay back. The steps are pretty steep. <laughs> this yeah. is going to be the children's room. Oh, this is so much! No, it matters! There's literally two mattresses on the floor. Super hot in here. It feels super, super hot. You can see the heat coming through the bamboo roof. Wow, Colin, it's actually all the heat from the air, the air conditioner is coming out, so it feels like you're in a sauna right here. Yeah, that's I mean, that view. It's amazing. Let's show you our, our master bedroom. I mean, could you resist to this view? It's just stunning. There's a little coat which we think we are going to give to Nana tonight, probably. I like the outfit, though, so it's quite nice. Bring some color in the room. It feels super cozy with the wood everywhere and these warm colors. It feels super cozy. Have a look outside, shall we? We have a bamboo raft and we have a kayak. We have a life jacket so we can go on a trip anytime we like. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers After lunch, we went, we checked into the room, um, and the room, as you can see, was amazing. Yeah, done some swimming in the lake, which was again stunning. It was so warm, surprisingly, ridiculously warm. Um, now we're going to head out onto another quick boat trip. We're going out for an hour. Put a, oops, sorry, hopefully you can still hear me. It's, it's, it's one hour. It's called a boat safari. And we're going to go and see some wild animals, and then we're going to head back, have some dinner, grab a glass of wine and chill out. Hopefully while we're out we get to see the sun come down and uh, we've been so lucky with the weather today, it's been amazing. So I'm glad you enjoyed it so far, a lot more to see.
see a wild buffalo. I don't know why I'm whispering. Maybe it's scared of people. But yes, he's, he's gone back in now. I did try to get a bit of get on the film, but I'm not sure if it's very clear. It's quite dark on this camera. This place is amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, we've, we've come on this safari just to see if we can find some buffaloes and some elephants. So finding one's been really good, but to be fair, just the ride at night has been incredible. We're gonna head back now. You coming? Yesterday morning we got up and 5.30 this morning and as you guys know I'm not the best on the camera when I'm fully awake so being a bit sleepy is a bit harder so please bear with me. So we got today, actually before I, I say about today, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday, I mean that was, that was incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, this place, oh, it's something else. You know, I was talking, talking to Nelly last night about it. You know, I've been, I've been lucky. I've travelled, travelled a lot. I've seen some amazing things in my life. But if this was the last place that I ever visited, I'd be okay with that. It's, it's, oh. Anyway, let's not get deep on this. So we're going to go. So we're going to go on a long tail again now um, for a morning safari where we're going to. They're going to take us to see the mist as it comes in, because, um, and then we're going to pop back, grab some breakfast, and then check out. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town, like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and it's about night 19, 1982 1982 this is for the end of the concession do you know concession yes. from denmark there's some yes. company from denmark has finished this is for mineral for the ore or the mine do you know mine m-i-n-e mm -hmm. mine yep. factory for the mineral right mm -hmm. this is yeah for whole for whole province well, yeah. this is renong suratani also panga and krabi okay. yes this is the big mine okay. ah sorry big concession it's about the mine um, because a lot of uh, mineral or the ore. Yes, this is the mineral mountain, limestone mountain, right? Yeah. And then after finish, we opened the national park, 1983. 1983, right? And then this, uh, the dam is uh, after after the the national park is about three years. It's 1983, 84, 85, 86, 1986. And then it's about construction is about five years five years for electric city power only yeah because the southern part of thailand is a flooding every year <laughs> we have a lot of water we have agi kanja but uh we don't want the down but on that time no social network there's no facebook online 
three, uh, 385 families, about more than 3,000 people sit here. It's about 176 square kilometers. For whole national park, it's about 700 square kilometers. Yeah, it's uh, just it's, uh, one part of the land. It's in the water, it's a small one. Right. 385 families moved out, resettled the new area far from the dams, about two square, uh, two kilometers, and the wildlife moved up to the west side. And this, uh, do you know upstream forest? No. Uh, the eye of the water, beginning of the water with the river leaking down to the Gao of Thailand for the east side, passing by the big canal we call the light canal, the name. It's called Sang Sang is the light. Yes, big canal joining with the sub canal. There's a lot. Um, also, they have uh, occupations about um, fruit garden, durian, rambutan, mango steam. Yeah, on that time, 34 years ago. And then, fishermen in the river. After the dam, this is after flooding. Um, first ten years, no concession of the resort, no resource in here. Um, we have a resort and fishing only for ten years, first ten years. After that, this is a twenty-four year, ten minus ten is about. 24 years ago until now this is the concession of the resort this is, for whole lake we have uh, 17 resort for now 17 resort they separate for uh, the lake they separate for the four area four zone this is the last zone the third zone last zone because the last one area number four just for wildlife and so around the lake we have a checkpoint the commander <laughs> with the weapon, yes, because they protect the wildlife and plants conservation for mainly not the resort. <laughs> yes, okay, this is for the basically. Thank you. So there's a lot of fish here, yeah. Yes, yeah, the small boat, very fast. This is the fisherman boat, it's a three about 300 boats in here for registration. Also, the, the, the tourist boat. It's about really 300 both cool. also. Wow, that's yeah, it's about for whole, whole lake is 600 yeah. both. What here. sort of fish you have here? Is, uh, they use they use the uh, yeah. about the fish right? It's a super giant catfish. Do you know Mac home catfish? Yeah. Yes, they treat them 34 years ago. Yeah, not original from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also uh, for the basically Thai fish, it's a lot at the resort. Did you see red tail? The big one is about two hands. Yeah, yeah swim around the resort. <coughs> yeah. It's about 500 million years ago. Okay. Yes, died down and the earth has changed. This is rising up. When we found the limestone mountain, that means this is the, the ocean before. Okay. Yes, but it's so long. Yeah, that's why the water is uh, this is emerald color. Do you know? Under the ground, not under the water, under the ground, still have limestone mountain. Under the ground is the white town from the land rising up, white town. The story is still continuing, still talking. There's nothing interesting about this. Is, under the water is uh, at the will, with the village. Um, the house they made by the wood also they can remove but just something the school three schools in here three school five temple and it's not market market is by the wood ah yes just two things the temple and school still flooding under the water they separate for five sub village sub village it's um for the lake is a four zone. This is for the village is a five zone. That's the right way. We are on the first zone of the village also because a very big one, bigger than lake for the village because plus with the land also. Yes. Not all flooding. Not all flooding. Yeah. Since here also um, like you asking like your question before is uh, since here we have a panther. Two couple of panther we move out because the flooding is so fast. In two years, they plan for five years. It's an effect for the wild animal dying. 
Don't ask me what kind of animal can be swim. I'll tell you just two kinds cannot swim. Langua and gibbons. The monkey like human. Yes. And also the elephant, bison, Indian bison or the goat. Yes, the deer, wild chicken, everything is a can can swim, can fly, can move. Why pig also? Why boar? So the water here is collected mainly by rain, isn't it? Okay, it's mainly by rain. By rain. Yes, and the eye of the water, <laughs> beginning of the. How to say? Beginning of the water, like is uh, leaking from the land. The river mouth. Sorry. It's the mouth of the river. Mouth. Mouth. Uh -huh. Yes, we have a lot more than 10,000 points, but that size, the bigger one. Yes. Separate with the half of uh, some kind of the waterfall at the center of Renault province. It's a half of the water leaking to the Andaman Sea, west side, and the half of the water leaking out to the east side of the Pacific Ocean. That size, the Andaman. Yeah. Do you know Phuket Island, right? Yeah. This is not first time to Thailand.